Hi, Alan Stratton from Eswood Turns. About a year ago, I made this little vase out of a togwa nut. Togwa nut about this size. Well, Terry met me at the Utah Wood Turning Symposium last year and said, no, you shouldn't be turning togwa nuts of that size. You should be turning togwa nuts of this size. And he gave me a bag of them. So, uh, Terry, thank you very much. And here's a togwa vase out of this size nut. Well, let's turn it this way. Uh, very interesting uh, nut to use. It's often called vegetable ivory. Used to be used in making buttons and such until plastics came of age. Uh, but it's got a nice mellow uh, antique ivory look. And uh, I kind of like it. But uh, yes, I do appreciate this size probably more than this size. I sanded a small flat on this togwa nut opposite the stem. Next I've used medium CA to glue the nut to a wooden pedestal mount. The pedestal gives me some working room on the spindle side. A rubber stopper is on the live center to give a soft mount. I'm starting with a small spindle gouge. But I decided I'd better drill out the stem side with a Forstner bit to have at least a somewhat uniform hole. So I've selected one that is barely bigger than the hole and gently drilled into the nut. A piece of tape marks the target depth, allowing for the point of the bit. Too often, I forget the point goes in quite a bit below the flat part. Then I decided to drill it out just a little larger, but not quite as deep. There is still skin inside the nut. Now the rubber stopper on the live center fits inside the nut, giving better support. I continue rough shaping with the spindle gouge. I'm going for a simple bowl shape. Actually, my shape options are quite constrained by the shape and size of the nut. With roughing done, I've switched to my skew, using it as a negative rake scraper. Once beyond the skin, the color is a mellow antique ivory. Quite nice. I figure it is time now to hollow out the inside. But my turning quickly goes south when the nut breaks away from the pedestal. So much for the CA glue. After running to the store for fresh quick epoxy, I mixed up just a dab on the end of the pedestal. After a good mix, I used the tailstock to align the nut back to the pedestal. Since my shop is cold, I covered the nut with a paper towel and a heating pad. It should be hard in one hour. But don't believe the hour on the epoxy label. The nut came off and I had to do it again. This time I took it inside the warmer house for overnight. Fortunately, it aligned back pretty good. As insurance, I decided to use my shop built steady rest while hollowing. I've switched to a small round nose scraper to hopefully put less pressure on the nut. I found it easier to go around the lathe to the other side where I can better hold the handle to my chest instead of hanging out over the lathe. I'm alternating between the small scraper and a medium round nose scraper. As I get the walls thinner, I'm using a small LED flashlight to light up the inside and gauge thickness.
the walls show a nice translucency. With hollowing complete, I can start sanding with 80 grit. I finished sanding with 2500 grit. Finally, I can part it off. The center of the epoxy was still pliable. I'm lucky it survived. For a proper finish, I have to sand off the nub from the foot with a sanding pad mounted to a Jacob's Chup on a Morse taper. Next, I can sign the bottom with my pyrography pen, followed by a very gentle sanding pass to smooth burn lines. Although it seems to have a nice finish from the sanding pad, I'm going to buff it again now to a nice shine. Thank you, Terry, for the huge togwa nut. I had intended it to be finished for a miniature club challenge, but the extra epoxy drying time eliminated that plan. Still, I have a pretty and small bowl from Tagua Nut, also known as vegetable ivory. The sides are translucent if I ever again shine a flashlight inside. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe on my website, tell your friends and send me your comments and questions. Every week I make a new wood turning video. Please wear your full face shield, even on miniatures. Till next week's video, this is Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns.